The influx of foreigners in the Philippines has been apparent. In fact, from 2013 to 2018, the number of tourists from the United States was more than 5 million, while Chinese nationals were recorded second highest, which for the past six years went up to 4.5 million. This document from the Bureau of Immigration proves that the number of foreign tourists has grown significantly. As of now, the visa upon arrival policy exists for Chinese tourists and other nationals who were investors, athletes, part of the delegation to conventions, and officials from World Bank and Asian Development Bank. Under this, foreigners are screened and pay for their visas in the Philippines to encourage more tourist arrivals, something that has been abused according to former DOJ Secretary Vitaliano Aguirre. I amend na lang ni Secretary Maynard Guevara yung alisin na lang yung visa and arrival, doon na lang kumuha sa consulate natin ang pagkuha ng visa kung kinakailangan para ma-check nilang ng gusto itong mga Itong mga pumupunta sa atin. The Department of Justice says there is a possibility to abolish the policy, but there may be an adverse impact. There is always that possibility. No? Uh, ang concern lang naman namin dyan, two things. Number one, uh, uh, th that scheme was developed uh, to encourage uh, tourists from China. So, uh, ang immediate impact if we uh, abolish it will be on the tourism side. Secretary Guevara said that the Tourism Department is ready to follow any order coming from the DOJ, DFA, and the Palace. He also points out security concerns. One angle that uh, we also have to take into consideration is uh, the issue of security, no? which was uh, raised by uh, Secretary uh, Esperon and I don't know about uh, Secretary Lorenzan of the DND, but basically from the security sector, meron din concern about uh, undocumented uh, Chinese nationals uh, coming over or documented but uh, doing something else. No? So uh, that is something that we also have to take into account. But Guevara points out that China is a huge country and it's a question if our consulates will be able to process applications there. The secretary says this should be coordinated with the Bureau of Immigration and the Foreign Affairs Department. Malacanang and the DFA have earlier expressed they are in favor of the move to abolish the system. My Bermudez, UNTV News and Rescue.